Do you ever feel like someone's watching you? Well, if you're a UK citizen, the government is attempting to step up its public surveillance policy and even snooping on your personal emails. Despite CCTV cameras already a major fact of UK life, there's now plans to store personal data, including information from social networking sites. As RT's Ivor Bennett reports, it's the taxpayer who could be footing the bill. Soon you could be watched everywhere you go in the UK, even where the cameras can't see you. All your emails, texts and phone calls will be monitored under a new anti-terror spy plan. The government will know which websites you visit. It'll even snoop on your private Facebook messages. No matter who you are, all your personal data will be stored for a year in a massive surveillance operation privacy campaigners condemn. This is the first step towards the government taking control of the internet. You know, the only place in the world that's got that kind of regulation is China. And I'm sorry, but Britain is not China. Brit All right, well, in Illinois, can you imagine using your cell phone to record the police? Could send you to prison, that alone. The spiker in hot water for posting himself getting pulled over for speeding on YouTube. Now, a state law makes it a felony to record audio of the police. This is just one example from Maryland. Mike Tobin is joining us live in Chicago, but they don't have the law in Maryland. That just was an example. How about in Chicago, Mike? They do have the law in Chicago, and there are a lot of issues with it. Start with the fact that just about everyone has a smartphone with some kind of recording device in it. Now look forward to May, when Chicago is going to be hosting the NATO summit. That event is expected to bring throngs and throngs of protesters, most of them armed with some kind of recording device that will record, record both audio and video. And as the arrest starts happening, if police are required to arrest everyone who records them without consent, the whole thing could spin out of control. So many people have cell phones with cameras, and if they're out in a public place and they're observing a police officer in action, and they take out their cell phone and happen to record that officer, that happens to be a class one felony that carries with it a 15-year penalty. New at six, tempers are boiling over tonight over a version of the American flag flying in Lake County. A veterans group says the flag is an outrage. Channel 9's Barrett Peterson is live in Tavares tonight, and Barrett, that flag was just taken down. It was a three by five foot American flag flying by, flying from that pole, but in place of the stars, it featured an image of President Obama. Any American citizen should be sick to see something like this. Don Van Beck says his blood was boiling. I can't describe how upset I was because you just don't do that to the American flag. The Korean War veteran found it flying outside Lake County Democratic headquarters under the Stars and Stripes. A banner veterans insist violates the United States flag code and it made some of them see red. Joseph Stalin, pictures of Mao Zedong, pictures of Adolf Hitler, the pomp, the ceremony, the flags like that. Nearly a dozen vets came to the Democratic office to take it down. No, this is private property. Excuse me, understand that. No, 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 this is private property. You're not allowed to touch anything. I'll call the police. That's fine. I wish you would. Democratic Party Chair Nancy Hulbert agreed to check the federal code and after about 10 minutes, pulled out the pole and cut off the flag. Did you check higher up the ladder? No, nope, just went online. Just went online, looked at the flag code. There is no higher up <laughs> in Lake County. I'm, I'm responsible and I take responsibility. The veterans insist their outrage had nothing to do with President Obama, but everything to do with protecting the stars and stripes they love. If you've been a veteran, and fought and some died for this, for this flag. You don't want to see it desecrated. That's, that's how simple it is. We found that Obama flag online for sale. The local party says it was a gift to them. They also say the veterans could have avoided all this confrontation simply by calling them on the telephone. Reporting live from Tavares in Lake County, Barrett Peterson, Channel 9. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, March 14th, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com. You can find all the latest updates there. Also on YouTube, ddarko2012, and my other channel is ddarko2013. Uh, if you're new, all the headlines and links will be posted in YouTube's video description. Uh, also, if you're new, I'd like to take all the uh, headlines, read briefly through headlines, and put it in story form 
<clears throat> all the headlines and links are in there below uh, so you can go in there and read them further but i like to wrap it up and just give a brief overview because there's a lot of information to get to so i'm ready to begin here i have still a lot of information to get to big brother total surveillance comes to uk and they're talking about using your smartphones and uh, tapping into uh, twitter feeds and uh, facebook uh, post and that kind of ties in with uh, this 15-year prison uh, sentence for recording a cop. Basically, uh, you can't record them. And uh, this individual went on to talk about how everyone has smartphones and they can use that um, for the G8. But what what was the thing? Was that uh, the G8 has been canceled? So, like I said before, they they canceled because well, they're they know that they could get violent the the sheep and that so. Uh, they just canceled it and they moved it to uh, Camp David, so now they won't even be able to do that. So we have fuel blamed for fall in UK incomes. British households are more than 2,000 pounds a year worse off than they were in 2007 and face a third successive year of falling disposable incomes as soaring oil prices crush household budgets. Then uh, l this is important. Why? Because what? We have this. UK unemployment rises to 17-year high at 8.4%, a nearly 17 year high today after another rise in jobless total to 2.7 million also uh, in scotland uh, unemployment is on the rise again and this all ties into what cctv at petrol stations will automatically stop uninsured cars with being filled with fuel so people uh their disposable incomes are going down uh, they're unemployed. They can't find a job. Uh, but you're going to be surveilled, and you're going to have Big Brother everywhere in the name of terrorism. Uh, and then you're going to have your Internet censored in the name of uh, stopping identity fraud and, and, and uh, cyber security, cyber terrorists. But, uh, you know, so if you try to go and pay for your overpriced petrol, uh, what's going to happen? Well, you better show your insurance car card. Otherwise, you're not going to get filled up. But it doesn't just stop at uninsured. It says, or untaxed vehicles from being filled with fuel under new government plans. Does that mean registration? I'm not sure if that's what it means, registration. Uh, basically, when you register your car or, your, or whatnot, you're actually transferring ownership of that, uh, of that property over to the state. So that's why you have to have insurance because you're paying for the state's property to be insured. That's how they can force you to get insurance. Uh, which is a complete fraud. So moving on here, police privatization. Dozens of firms register interest uh, in $1.5 billion contract. It says here that these forces invited bids for services, including investigating crimes and detaining suspects. Delegates from up to 64 private security companies were attending a bidder's conference on Tuesday for a contract to run a wide ranging of police services in the West Midlands and Surrey area. The conference is being held as G4S starts a trial in Lincolnshire of its Street to Suite program under the private security company, uh, sorry, in which the private security company picks up suspects arrested by officers on the street. Remember before, it was about traffic wardens being uh, deemed basically police powers to arrest. This is all for the, uh, possibly for the big false flag this summer for the Olympics. But it could just be that uh, this is what we're looking at. This uh, It's a global uh, corporatist type system and everything is privatization. So, you know, privatiza privatizing the police, privatizing the military. So just in uh, Afghanistan, we're talking, we're seeing what um, uh, the military looking, being uh, shown in a bad light, right? They're doing bad things, but at the same time, it's all about killing nationalism. It's about making the flag, your flag look like crap, right? Uh, and then what? And then you're going to have private contractors in Afghanistan, and they're going to say, oh, see, we pulled out of Afghanistan like in Iraq, while well, they still have these private mercenaries there. Police in the U.K. are linked to blacklist of construction workers, says police or security services. says here supplied information to a blacklist funded by the country's major construction firms that kept households of people out of work over the past three decades. And it goes on here, and it says that some of the 3,200 victims were deemed left-wing or troublesome. So there you go. That's what you get with the police anyway. But who was protesting the privatization of the police force? The police. The police union saying that, what? Oh, it's a dangerous experiment with local safety. So the police sold these people out. And it's not just a left wing. One of these individuals was a 46-year-old engineer who had a 36-page file against his name and was victimized repeatedly for highlighting safety hazards on sites, including the presence of asbestos. 
So a North Port man videotaped arrest and got arrested. It says here, it said, although the 57-year-old computer technician assumed he had a legal right to document the incident, he was arrested, handcuffed, and taken away uh, for a night in jail. So it doesn't really matter whether it's legal or not, right? It doesn't really matter whether there's crappy courts pass a law saying they can wiretap your phones. They do it anyways. They've been doing it. So, you know, it doesn't matter if they pass a National Defense Authorization Act that says that the military or the police can hold you as a terrorist suspect indefinitely without trial because they're going to do it anyway. It's just, uh, it's just there to appease you. It's a big game, right? So, so the individual was charged with obstruction, but also with a rare crime of eavesdropping, a third-degree felony in Florida that carries a punishment of up to five years in prison. And remember this article, but it was reposted here. FBI urges coffee shops to report cash-paying customers to authorities. As part of the Communities Against Terrorism program, ordinary citizens need to be on the lookout for suspicious characters who follow patterns of behavior of a covert operative talking about what? Ooh, terrorist traits. Next up, Sanford, Florida Airport wants to opt out of TSA. I reported on this a while back, but the Orlando Sanford International Airport is going to try to opt out of only using TSA agents for security screening. And they're not even agents. They're not federal agents. So... I mean, that's that's the truth. And, you know, South Park's going to air their episode tonight on TSA, which is great and everything, but it just makes me wonder. It's just like, in the end, are they going to have this little whammy uh, where they're going to be like, oh, but that's just the way it is, and you got to deal with it. That's the only thing I don't like about South Park that worries me with them is that they cover things, and then they say, oh, well, that's just the way it is. So we have parents left in the dark as drugs uh, police strip search 10 boys at Village School. Two boys aged 15 and 16 arrested and later bailed. Strip search by police over claims that they were concealing drugs in their underwear. Teachers gained new powers uh, to search pupils for drugs, alcohol, and stolen goods in 2009. Gives them the legal right to frisk pupils and search school bags without consent and crack down on bad behavior. It has nothing to do with bad behavior. Behavior is just programming. Behave. Behave. Behave, you know? It's just getting them conditioned for uh, being accepting what most adults are accepting right now as far as the big brother and police state. And it goes on and says without seeking parental consent because they don't need your effing consent, Right? Uh, do it anyways. Teenager arrested for comments made on Facebook page for allegedly making comments on Facebook about deaths of six British soldiers in Afghanistan last week. The first problem, Azar, is that your name is Azar Ahmed. That's the first thing that stuck out. He criticized the level of attention British soldiers who died in a bomb blast received compared to that received by Afghan civilians killed in the war. So it's a legitimate point, but it doesn't really matter. Mother knifed to death in front of her child for had her Facebook status changed to sleeping around shortly before an attack. Her soldier boyfriend, 24, on leave from serving in Afghanistan is being questioned over the killing. So Obama's approval plunges to 41% in a new poll. So we'll see if he still gets elected or shoved through office because that's what the corporations want right now is him, their man, their investment. Uh, gun sales boom and expect expectation of Obama re-election. I think it has more to do with that, um, basically the economic collapse possibly, or the crap hitting the fan whenever they decide to pull the plug. Gun sales boom as election looms. Look at this. Gun show highlights spike in gun sales. Uh, people getting uh, concealed carry permits in Iowa uh, is basically going up 170% from the year before after they allowed it. Next up, Smith & Wesson's strong outlook triggers rise in shares. So come check this article out. I'm going to keep moving for time's sake. A perimeter approach to security and the transformation of the U.S.-Canada border it says when finished would bring about the complete transformation of the northern border and another step closer to the creation of a fully integrated North American security perimeter. And it goes on talks about forums have been uh, held over what? Over counterterrorism and smuggling and uh, different types of um, uh, memorandums that have been passed for smuggling and trafficking. Well, it's about merging North uh, uh, United States, Canada, and Mexico, creating North American Union, then merging that with the South American Union, and of course merging that into the European Union, the Asian Union, the African Union, into one big union. So if you think I'm a joke and you think this is a conspiracy, just go to the Council on Foreign Relations website, which Angela Jolie is a part of, and Hillary Clinton, building a North American community. That See, they call it a community instead of a union. I call it a corporation. Northcom prioritizes homeland defense, talking about uh, Northcom including expanding partnerships, advancing and sustaining the U.S.-Canada partnership of NORAD. 
So who, who are these councils making up your uh, your fate, your future? Well, the Canadian International Council. It's nonpartisan. Takes care of Canada's role for international affairs. Then we have what? Ooh, the Center for International Governance and Innovation. Oh, a nonpartisan think tank on CFR convenes on the Council of Councils. They're going to basically merge themselves, the councils, like the union. Don't fly the Union Jack flag. And a U.S. business owner is threatened with fines and jail over flying the American flag. Thank you.